Hello, this is Kate, and this is the second game of the summer season with the Orange team in the competitive league that I play in. Actually had a warm up where everyone lined up and took shots, and it was like the best thing ever. Scary little tip off the defenseman there, but luckily uh, my leg was dragging far enough behind to uh, throw, be able to throw it out. Being only the second game back after eight, the eight month lockdown, I was definitely still struggling with the cardio on this one. I think this was also the game I just had so much trouble containing the rebounds. Everything was just bouncing off me like rubber. As I said, everything was bouncing off me. <laughs> What even is rebound control? At least the one behind the net. And there goes the uh, little tip piece on my stick. I ended up finally giving up and gluing it in because it kept falling out. Honestly, I got really lucky with that series of shots because I just completely lost my ability to uh, instinctively butterfly slide after rebounds and yeah, I just got so lucky. <laughs> And that's the end of the first period. And I'm already exhausted. I always hate watching in horror as a puck just sort of bobbles and rolls up over your shoulder and it just seems like there's nothing you can do about it. That whole series was just really unfortunate for me. I couldn't get my pads to slide. Um, and so it just completely sent me in a panic mode and uh, I didn't get out to cut the angle off. That surely would have helped with the rolling over my shoulder. So it would have hit lower, but you know, what can you do? And it's 1-1. One, one. At least I got myself all the way to the post. Thank you. 
at this point, every time I went down to the ice unnecessarily, I was like, oh, God, why did you do that? Now I have to get up again. Strangely, I end up playing two games in a row the following week, and uh, I was totally fine by that point. Shook off all the exhaustion. And just going to take a quick nap, all right? <laughs> Really needed my brain to work a little bit fast on that one. I'm just not thinking straight here at all. Like, I have no business sitting on my goal line like that, but luckily uh, I got away with that as well. The ice was just not cooperating with my pads this game at all. Or I was not pushing hard enough, which is also possible. Ooh. And that is the end of the second period. There's my trademark, wild dive for the puck. So I do manage to avoid some rebounds this game. I don't feel too bad about this one. I mean, when it goes post and in, they've just completely sniped you. I I could have stayed out further. I, you know, it's my same problem of sliding backwards as the shot comes in, and, and I really need to plant my feet better and, and stay out at the angle, but... Still, it was just a really nice shot. The break also uh, knocked me of my habit of actually properly going into the RVH when necessary. Uh, I really got away with something there. And that delayed reaction, geez. Right here, I'm just so tired. I'm just not moving fast enough. But I also, it's weird. I have this sixth sense sometimes where I just know, I'm just like so sure that they are not actually going to get a shot on net. I need to get back into following those rebounds too. Another quick rest. And that's the end of game two. It ended in a uh, two to one loss for us, but I thought overall I played uh, pretty well this game actually, especially considering how quickly I was completely exhausted. So. I was glad I was able to keep my head enough in the game to uh, play fairly well. You know, I've got a long way to go to get back to where I had been at the end of last season, but uh, I'm confident I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.